All right. <coughs> Hi, ladies, Mr. Solomon. Today, we did lesson 7 1 dilations in the coordinate plane when they're centered at the origin. These are sort of like our go to dilations, these are very common. So the first thing we're going to do is we're actually going to just go over how to practice dilating them. So these are the two skills you're being assessed on in your delta math assignment, how to dilate a point and how to find your scale factors, like, you know, sort of going backwards. All right. So what we want to do is for our first question, it says, what is the image of six negative three after dilation by a scale factor of one third centered at the origin? So if you look, I want to dilate this point right here, my six negative three. And my scale factor is one third. So I know k is equal to one third. So what I like to do is I like to rewrite my ordered pair. So I'm going to rewrite my six negative three. So I rewrote my six negative three. Let me just make it a little darker. Okay. And I want to dilate it by a scale factor of a third. So when I dilate it by a scale factor of a third, I can just go to my calculator and type in 6 times a third and negative 3 times a third. But you might have heard me and Miss C mention that you are taking the SAT next year, so you need to get used to some mental math. So we need to be a little less reliant on the calculator. So if I wanted to do this in my head or thinking aloud, I would say, well, 6 times 1 is 6. 6 divided by 3 is 2. So I can say that my x-coordinate of my dilated point is 2. Now, I take my negative 3, and I multiply that by a third. So I take my negative 3, and I do negative 3 times 1, which is negative 3, and then negative 3 divided by 3 is negative 1. So my dilated point is 2, negative 1. And that's your final answer. Now, if you go to the next part, <clears throat> it says the triangle on the right is the scaled copy of the triangle on the left. Identify the scale factor. Express your answer as a whole number, so basically like number one, two, three, four, five, or a fraction in simplest form. A majority of these examples for this section are going to have a fraction as your answer. So all you really do is you just look to see what lines up with what. If I look, my 8 lines up with my 10. My 8 lines up with my 10. So this is a little annoying because they're both the same number, so I can really only use one equation. But I need to know what I multiply my 8 by to get to a 10. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set up an equation where I have 8k equals 10. Because remember, k means your scale factor, so I want to solve for my scale factor. One step equation, divide by 8 on both sides. And I get k equals 10 over 8. But the thing is, I can actually reduce that. So I'm going to go to 10 desmos. I'm going to type in 10 divided by 8. Not 1 over 8, 10 divided by 8. And if I look, that's 1.25, but I said whole number or fraction, that reduces to 5 over 4. So I get k equals 5 over 4. So your final answer would just be 5 fourths. And that's it. If you have any questions, email myself or Ms. Calabrindo. Have a great day, ladies.